So in this patient, we've had a very particular pattern of responsiveness to levodopa, and um, this is the wearing off problem. But there are more types of off episodes that patients with advancing Parkinson's disease can experience. This is one of the more common kinds, and it's explainable by the way levodopa behaves. But there are other episodes which could also confound the issue, and in fact, the same patient might have more than one of these uh, in their typical day. So let's turn to a couple of these. One of them is the morning off episode. A patient hasn't taken medication since the night before. Uh, given the duration of sleep time, uh, it's quite understandable that there would be very little levodopa medication left in that patient system. And so upon arising in the morning, there is a delay before the next oral dose of this medication will reach therapeutic levels. This can be 15 to minutes uh, at the fastest, but sometimes the delay can be 30 to 45 minutes. And if breakfast is taken simultaneously with the medication, perhaps even a more uh, prominent delay. So this is uh, an issue that many patients have uh, coped with by taking medication before getting out of bed and giving it a chance to absorb even before their feet hit the floor. The main problem here is delayed on, and this can occur at other times during the day as well. Patients uh, who start to wear off and delay taking the next dose of medication or even take it right when they're starting to feel off have a 15 to 30 minute delay at the fastest. And so they can have off symptoms as their previous dose of medication goes away and as the dose they just swallowed fails to go to work. Because there's such fluctuation in blood levels of levodopa, there can be partial on states. That is, the medication doesn't really hit its desired therapeutic level within 15 or 30 minutes. And so a patient is plagued by tremors or stumbling, something that sounds like to them they haven't gotten the full effect of the drug and they may even feel the need to take extra. But the real problem is failure of absorption and even the next dose might fail to absorb. And at its worst, this could be a total dose failure. The drug was taken right on time. It's sitting there in the stomach, and there have been examples of gastroscopy showing that a pill swallowed right on time with the right amount of water, nonetheless, an hour and a half later, is sitting there in the stomach unabsorbed. So uh, there's delay in onset of effect. There's wearing off. There's also another spectrum of problems that some patients with advancing Parkinson's have, and that's the unpredictable off episodes. Uh, these have a less clear character in terms of the pharmacology. For many patients, these are triggered by episodes of uh, stress uh, or episodes of coming to a doorway and finding their feet lock in place. This has been described as freezing of gait, and freezing can lead to stumbling and falls, but it also can lead to just a very stressful situation of why won't my feet follow my commands? Actually, James Parkinson back in 1817 uh, had a phrase more or less uh, explaining that the, the limbs fail to answer with exactness to the dictates of the will. If you ever hear your patients speaking that way, you've got a, a real uh, uh, classic description. The main thing about these unpredictable and predictable kinds of episodes is that they can be intermingled. And you want to look into the phenomenology of these as best you can by asking some pointed questions so that you can figure out what to do. If a patient is having a very short but regular duration of action from a dose of levodopa, an extender makes sense. If there's unpredictable off time or marked delay, perhaps an on-demand or rescue type therapy might be most appropriate. And in fact, the combination of these options might be there, and especially in the future where we might have infusion therapies to give more continuous action, we might be bringing together immediate rescue and sustained release therapies uh, all in the same patient just to give them more of their on time back.